Hey guys, it's Julia from Jutland. Today I'm a bit like messy. I'm in Miami for Ultra and I just got like 15 free minutes to film a video because I really want to share with you one app is without which I cannot imagine um, the study in the foreign languages for me right now. The name of this app is Notion. Probably you have already heard about it. A lot of people use it just to uh, structureize their life, uh, create the schedule and work in this app because you can also have the team mode. But for me, that was, was a big exploration that I can use it to learn foreign languages very, very effectively. So basically you can use it in both ways. If you're just learning the language or you want to prepare yourself for the exam, about this point we're going to talk a bit later, but let's start with just learning the, any foreign language in general. So the best feature from my point of view is to create the schedule because when you're learning a new language, the consistency is the most important part. You need to commit preferably every single day to your, to learn your foreign language. Uh, that's how you're going to see the result quite quick. You can just create the grammar topics, vocabulary topics and uh, speaking topics you would like to acquire to learn uh, within your current uh, foreign language level. It can be A1, A2, B1, B2. Um, you can just, if you don't know what to put there, you can just use any modern uh, student's book, uh, whatever you find, and just refer yourself to this uh, source. So in this app, you can control uh, your progress. If you do something every single day and you fill out the box, you do it every day, you see the progress and you feel motivated more and more. You no, know, one of the most important parts of learning foreign languages is to learn new words and new phrases. Notion can help you with that as well. You see, uh, you can just write down all the uh, unknown words you've discovered recently. You can even create some topics for them. Uh, my advice is not to translate into your native language, but to use synonyms to understand the meaning of the word or phrase you're using. So, for example, right now I'm learning Spanish because I'm in the US and currently I'm in Miami. And here every single person speaks Spanish but me. I like the way Spanish language sounds and I really want to acquire this language as well. So, you can look at my notion. I have the schedule uh, of the things I need to do this week or maybe this month, uh, grammatical, vocabulary topics, unknown new words. Uh, one feature I like a lot is that you can save all the links uh, for podcasts, for videos, articles you read. Uh, you can just add this. Um, for example, you can add the video from YouTube and then write down all the unknown phrases and words you have found out in this video. And so in this case, you're gonna see the video and also the fra all the phrases uh, right under it. You can see I watched uh, Extra in Spanish because it's a basic TV series. It has Russian and Spanish subtitles and it's easy for me. Um, so here I keep track of all the new words and phrases I learned on my very, very beginner level of Spanish. I would say there are no drawbacks in using Notion for learning any foreign language. I love it. You can get inspiration there. You can also add some features that are going to be only yours, um, such as you can add the playlist you love when you're studying or you can add the mood board of the country you want to go to use this language. So it's the whole world, it's a whole system. And as you remember, any language is a system as well. So just, I would suggest uh, just moving toward this aim very, very gradually and uh, just follow all your small goals, baby steps. Regarding the second part, if you want to get yourself ready for, the, for any exam, Notion is the best. Notion is your number one favorite app ever in this case. Well, I basically had the Notion pages for writing and speaking of the exam I passed recently. So you remember, I got a certificate C2. But recently I was like, why don't I uh, do the whole thing? Uh, why don't I add the 
aim, the strategy I used when I was uh, dealing with uh, any particular task in all the parts of the exam. Um, I can also add the uh, new vocabulary that will be useful for students who also get ready for this exam. And I can create the whole schedule, like for one month, that you can learn all the topics, mostly it's vocabulary topics, but don't forget about grammar as well, uh, in the whole system, just with one app. I'm almost done with this thing, it's like my small project, I would say, and I really want to introduce it to you, as it requires a lot of time, I don't have much free time, but still I devote my time to this process because I love it a lot. Um, the price would be just $9.99 in dollars, because I live in the US. So if you want to try this out, and you can also, also purchase it, um, use and get ready for the exam. I guarantee you, you will be able to pass the exam if you follow all the instructions, if you keep attention to all the details. Explain and also learn a whole lot of new vocabulary. I give you in this Notion pages. So you can follow the link there and I will be glad to ask any of your questions regarding this small project. Enjoy! I just wish you a good day, night, good morning, wherever you are. If you're learning language, don't stop, don't stop. I know sometimes it's hard, sometimes I stop with Spanish, it's true. I don't have that much time, but it's my priority. If it's your priority, keep pushing, keep going. Hard work pays off. Thank you for watching me, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye!